Now let me read verse 7. Now a certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day, detained before the Lord, and his name was Doeg, an Edomite, the chiefest of the herdmen that belonged to Saul. And this man Doeg is here, and he's a betrayer. David had a great deal to say about the betrayer. You read Psalm 52, for instance. Now, verse 8. And David said unto Ahimelech, And is there not here under thine hand spear a sword? For I have neither brought my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. Now, I'd like to call your attention to something here that's rather important, friends. It's the way Scripture's misquoted. I've heard it said that certain things should be done for the Lord and should be done quickly, because the king's business requires haste. Well, may I say to you, the king's business does not require haste. David is misrepresenting here to begin with. And he doesn't have a sword or spear because he did have to leave in a hurry. But he's not on a mission for the king. And therefore, the king's business does not require haste. This is, I suppose, quoted so many times. I've heard it used. We need to take up an offering to pay for something or to build something. And the king's business requires haste. Now, I'm here to say today the king's business does not require haste. Have you ever noticed how patiently that God works? And he's going to work that way in the life of David. David is going to be schooled and trained out in the caves of the earth. That's God's method. God is in no hurry. Now, Moses was in a hurry, and he wanted to deliver the children of Israel 40 years before God was ready. And Moses was not ready either. God put him out in the desert and trained him, schooled him for 40 years until he was ready. The thing that marks the work of God is not haste. It's the fact that God works slowly and patiently, Oh, my, how impatient we become. And I'm sure my wife would say, if she's listening at this time, she'd say, yes, and you are not the one to talk to people on patience because you're a very impatient man. And that's true. I am. I'm trying to learn the art of waiting before the Lord. We all need that. David needed to learn it. God has trained his men like that. He's had to teach them patience, every one that he's ever used. And you find that that is his method. He brought his son into the world. It'll be 33 years before he'll go to the cross. God moves slowly, and God works slowly. If you want to see the way he moves, look how long it takes him to make a diamond. Look how long it takes him to make a redwood tree. God takes a long time in what he's doing. God's work does not require haste, friends. That's not God's method at all. And David here is saying something that actually is not true. And the circumstances here reveal it's not true. He's not on a mission for the king. And the king's business does not require haste. Now you'll notice... And the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom thou slewest in the valley of Elah, behold, it's here wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If thou wilt take that, take it, for there is no other save that here. And David said, There's none like that. Give it me. Isn't it interesting that David could use a slingshot when he began, but now he's been playing a harp, you see, for the king. He's been in the king's palace a long time, and he has lost his cunning with a slingshot. And now he needs a sword, and he uses the sword of Goliath. And so we find that David arose and fled that day for fear of Saul, and he went to Achish, the king of Gath. And he got as far away from Saul as he possibly could, and he went this far. And David found that when he arrived there among these foreigners, he was in danger. They were enemies of Israel, and he had to play like he was a madman. He had to act as Hamlet acted, you remember. 
and play like he was a madman in order to keep them from slaying him. And so we find in verse 15, the king of Achish says, Have I need of madmen that ye have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? So it means that David is not going to be in 